Okay, so I kind of lied. We do have a couple more things that we just impromptu planned uh, at the very end of our trip. First, uh, we're going to check out this private beach access area that our server at this restaurant, Esoteric, recommended to us. We were just talking about the local vibe and everything, and he said, you know, you should check out the private beach, like on North Beach. So that's where we're headed now, uh, trying to find this private beach and see what that's like versus the more public access area that's you know beaches are always too crowded and I don't know they just they seem like they suck so that's what we're doing and then we're gonna go to uh, Ooselfinch after we hit the beach so uh, yeah let's go try to find this beach area right. he said 60th right well 68th is the start of what's considered the north beach it's on the map okay well Got to choose one at some point, right? The ones with stoplights probably have. Uh, yeah, see that that looked like it had beach access right there. You got to do something. All right, we're choosing this street and seeing if this has any parking at it. I mean, it looks like it could, maybe. Oh, damn it! Okay, we got to choose another street. Do not enter. No parking. Okay. You have arrived. Yes, we have arrived, but we there's nowhere to park. Let's try the very next one, see if this one is affording us any access. Oh yeah, you know what? This kind of looks like doable. That guy's parked there. Yeah, there's no parking sign. Damn it. Public beach access. This is public. Public beach access. Yeah, so I mean it's public, but it's not like the public one. Okay, well, let's try the next one. See that, I mean, let's just keep trying, <laughs> keep trying them. Uh... Oh, righteous. This looks promising. Oh yeah, look at this. Parking bricks right there. Perfect. Really? Look, this house isn't even occupied. There's like all this like okay, okay, slow down. stuff in there. We're good to go there. Wow, look at this house. This is like a mansion. Holy shit. this place it's amazing the wind is super super heavy right now so I'm sorry if it sounds crazy but uh, back here you can see this is where the boardwalk typically would end for everybody in the public section this is actually a public beach though but it's just for the people on the north end I suppose or those who know about it maybe the locals really um, but there's like literally nobody here I mean, this is essentially what amounts to a private beach. There's, there's literally nothing here. There's a bunch of nice houses in a nice neighborhood, and, and that's it. And just like, it, this beach actually looks longer too. It's bigger. Yeah. I'm super glad that we came down here. We do have sand in our shoes, so we should probably head back at some <laughs> point soon. But uh, this is nice. It's nice and peaceful. I was trying to get cool footage and I got soaked and now I am very very wet. That is unfortunate as hell. It is so uncomfortable and squishy. Can we take a picture of us in front of the water? I bet my shoes are gonna smell like salt water for like a week. Alright, well let's head out to Oozle Finch because I want some beer. It's about that time. Let's do it. Quick travel tip, always put your towel on the top of your luggage so that it's easily accessible should you need it.
a little over an hour away from where we were is uh, Uzelfinch and we just decided to pop in on our way back home because it's convenient and we've worked with Uzelfinch before on some things and uh, yeah they've been super cool so we decided to pay a little homage and come back here and try some of their beers. I've got the Feel Better More. It's a very hazy, hazy boy. Very big, huge notes of mango and a little pineapple. It drinks like, not like juice, it's not as thick as it looks in the mouthfeel. It's a little bit lighter than I expected actually. Low carbonation, it's really good, it's a really tasty beer. I don't know if I could have more than a pint of this because it is kind of thick, Yeah. but it does drink lighter than I expected it to. Definitely not Vale territory. This is a uh, Rye on the Fox, or Rye as a Fox. I think it's Rye as a Fox. And it's a Rye Ale, and there's peach, and I believe honey blossom. Honey. <laughs> Man. Um, and some vanilla as well, and it's actually quite good. Um, it's not, it's not very sweet, but it has all the like floral notes that you get in honey blossom. It, and it finishes off with a nice like peach finish. That's beautiful. Oozle Finch doing some crazy beers. There's one with um, marshmallow peeps, like the blue marshmallow peeps. Are you gonna get that one? I don't know. Um, the bartender <laughs> said it was super sweet, so yeah. I'm afraid of, of a sweet IPA. That's we've I had that once before, and that was a little weird. <laughs> sweet, I, sweet IPAs aren't aren't really great, in my opinion. The bitterness doesn't back it up enough, and then you just get all sweetness, and that's. I don't know, to me it's a little off-putting. They're sort of known for their eclectic, uh, more eclectic styles and just a lot weird... Of their sours. Yeah, their sours they are really crazy. Combinations of sours, yeah. Yep, yep. That and Vazen, those two particularly in our area anyway, are like the de facto sort of like, yeah, you need to come here and experience this. I'm just not in the mood. It's not actually warm enough for me to drink sours right now. It's yeah, a little cold. It's, a little cold. It's, it's fine, it's just the wind. We're right, it's, Oozle Finch is located in this weird location where it's like, there's a bay back here and then there's the ocean over there. So it's like this little inlet area and I think there's like a naval base or something close by. Like Fort Monroe is nearby. Yeah, um, so there's, there's not a lot happening here except for Oozle Finch. I, there's a, there's like an elementary school down the road right here like that's on the beach. It's so bizarre. I'm wondering if like the kids at recess, they just go to the beach and like play on the beach. That'd be amazing. Awesome. <laughs> so amazing. I wish I had a beachfront elementary school <laughs> Man, when I was a kid. That would be the stuff right there. Okay. So according to Wikipedia here, it says the Oozle Finch is the unofficial historic mascot of the Air Defense Artillery and formerly of the U.S. Coast Guard Artillery Corps. Uh, the Oozle Finch is portrayed as a featherless bird that flies backward at supersonic speeds, mind you, <laughs> and carries weapons of the Air Defense and Coast Artillery, most often a Nike Hercules missile. Oozle Finch has been portrayed in many different forms and artistic interpretations throughout its history. Uh, however, at Oozle Finch, all their shirts display this featherless bird that looks like cracked out or like He's on like crack. He's a frumpy looking bird. He's cute. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a good mascot. Um, yeah, the Oozle Finch's eyes are very large, allowing it to see very distant and very clearly in the sky. Its vision is unobstructed by eyelids or eyebrows, and the eyes are said to be able to turn 180 degrees so the Oozle Finch can look inward, symbolizing the need of a good leader for inward reflection. Because they're doing such crazy ass things with their beers, most of the time, their sours especially, like we mentioned. And then you see this, the logo with the bird, and that's also a super crazy ass looking yeah. bird that just looks demented. So I guess it makes sense. It kind of coalesces with the brand. Yeah, that's true. Good point. Yeah. Oozle Finch Tap Room is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Um, right now they're only doing outdoor seating, but they do have this this nice, pretty expansive outdoor area. Um, but the bar itself looks pretty small. Pretty much over half of it, I'd say, is dedicated to production of, of their beers. I think the opposite. I, I expected this place to be a lot bigger because now they're distributing um, a lot. And I don't think it's just Virginia. Now they're shipping to, like, I mean, a good chunk of the eastern states, like a large chunk of them. And they just teamed up with um, Hot Culture Magazine, and they had that festival, the Sour Festival. Yeah, the Sour Fest. So to get that kind of pop to get to that point of popularity i feel like 
I just expected this tap room to be a lot bigger because, I mean, the outdoor year is quite tiny for as popular as they have gotten. That's true, but it's also, like I said, in a weird area, so I didn't expect a lot right. of people to actually even be here. Driving down here, I was thinking to myself, like, who actually comes here on a regular, are there regulars that come here? I mean, I guess the military people, but uh, that's yeah. about it. You know, maybe it's... teachers from that weird school over there that's on the beach. But other than that, there's no like houses around this area. Right. So I don't know it's where like people island. would come yeah. from exactly. They're doing well, so hey, props to that. Well, that does it from us. Thus ends our three day long beer vlog journey at Virginia Beach. Hope you guys were entertained, had some fun, learned a few things. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers.